guys, I'm here to tell you that life is throwing noodles at us. Also, I have my mask on. Life's throwing noodles at us all the time. Sometimes they stick. Sometimes they don't. And you know, I'm here to talk to you about why some noodles stick and why some don't. Actually, I'm not here to talk to you about noodles at all. It's just a metaphor because I like pasta. Anyone else like pasta? Everyone likes pasta. Actually, my talk is about that life is throwing moments at us all day, every day, right now, and that some of them stick and some of them don't. And what is the difference between the ones that stick and the ones that just bounce off? And really, I mean, the only difference between a moment and a memory is that it sticks. Now, why they stick, I believe, is that you have some sort of emotional encounter with beauty. Now, I don't mean beauty in the traditional sense of the term, like you had an emotional encounter with a Greek goddess, which seems very memorable to me, actually. But I don't think beauty like that can be fit into a box because it's different for everyone. But I do know that you'll know what beauty is to you because it is what you remember. If you look back on something, it's, it's the moments that stick the most crystal clear in your mind. They're the ones that impact you. I would actually even dare to say that beauty is in the memory of the beholder. And it doesn't have to be these big giant moments of our lives. It can be the little tiny everyday moments. And you don't even know why they stick. They take you off guard. I remember this day I was walking, actually, I think it was last summer, I was walking on a beach in Portugal pre-COVID. <laughs> and I was walking with my best friend and it wasn't really even a, a big part of our trip or anything, but we were walking along this beach that we had found, and it was like I'd walked next to this person maybe, I don't know, a hundred million times in my life, and all of a sudden, the sun catches her face, the wind, like, catches her hair in this wonderful way. Her scarf matches the background of the beautiful turquoise water. And she looks over at me, and she has this little grin that I know and love so well. And I swear to you, it was like the world stood still. And it was throwing a sticky noodle at me. And, you know, I kind of think that if, if we would be more fully present, and I'm talking to myself too, that the world really is trying to throw sticky noodles at us all the time. We just think that they come in these big, giant, fancy packages, but they don't. And I also believe that just how our minds, they can't hold every single moment, every single memory that we have, we also... We can't hold every detail of every memory. And this is where it starts to get interesting because it can only hold on to the parts that are the most dear to your heart, the most impactful ones, or I dare say, the most beautiful. So my work as an artist, I, I like to show this process of abstraction in our minds through my process. So you can see that the background of this painting is totally blocked out, just the color. Was the background beautiful? Yes. In comparison to the way I felt um, through my best friend's expression towards me, it was blocked out, blurred. So I've abstracted the background. I also do remember she was wearing a really nice scarf, so it's probably mine, I let her borrow it. And 
she was wearing some sort of ochre skirt, but I don't remember all the details. Actually, it looks like I've painted her shirt white, but it's empty space. So there's also parts of our minds that we just completely let go of because they weren't important at all. Let me tell you how important her shirt was to me in this memory. Zipola. So it's empty. I also, if you don't know anything about paint, that's totally fine. I'll give you a little lesson, painting 101. Acrylic paint is a water-based paint. It kind of sits back. It doesn't have so much sheen. And it does show really, really beautiful colors and texture, but when it's next to oil paint, there's nothing like the depth of color and the vibrance of color that's in oil paint. So I reserve the most detailed parts of my paintings, the parts that stuck in my memory the most clear because they are the ones that are the most beautiful and impactful to me. I use oil paint and detail only on those parts. So you can see that her face and the freckles along her lips and the, her hair and her skin and the center in her hair, that is the most detailed part. So they come forward, they stand out. Just like in our memories, we hold on to the most important parts. Um, my, this friend, Amanda, we also have a podcast together, and it's called the Haley and Amanda Podcast, and we, it's about joy and inspiration, and we've recently interviewed children, kids, because we thought they're closer to the source, they're going to be wise, they're going to have some wise stuff to teach us. So we ask them, what is the happiest you've ever felt in your entire life of all the years you've been alive? And we're thinking, oh my God, what are they gonna say? What are they gonna say? It's gonna be so impactful. And they're like, eh, jumping on the trampoline with my friends. And I'm like, wait, what? That's the happiest you've ever felt? And they're like, yeah. Another kid's like, I love uh, riding my bike because I like the wind on my face. We're like, that's the happiest you've ever felt? They're like, yeah, what's, that? What, what's wrong with that? And I just think that we have something to learn from them because they allow themselves to feel happiness all the way, full to the top, in the everyday tiny little moments. And here these parents are trying to, you know, throw the best birthday party of the century, and they, all they need to do is, like, go for a walk. <laughs> so, you know, maybe it's not all the big giant moments that make a huge, huge difference in our journeys. Maybe it's just a woman eating ice cream. I've blocked out the where she is because I, I don't remember. Uh, the signs, I don't know what they look like, but I do remember that it seemed like she was enjoying that ice cream and the sun looked really nice on her skin. Maybe it's just the way that um, texture is left from a chair on a woman's back. Maybe this doesn't impact you as beautiful. Maybe you think I'm a creep, but it does to me. And those are the memories, the tiny little moments of life that I want to keep alive. Here, you can see that there actually is nothing except for the figure. Your mind tries to trick you and fill in that it is there, but you'd, it's not there at all. I, uh, I used to live in Europe, and I don't know what it is about old people gathering in parks and sitting on benches, but boy, do they love to do it. And they go there and they just sit. And I always used to just love their slouchy like expressions, the journey that, that people carry in their bodies, I find really fascinating. And I think, oh my gosh, do they come here every day? Do, did these people go to kindergarten together? What do they even talk about? Do they talk? Do they share peanuts? I don't know. And. I, I love the pattern of what these women are wearing. It's stuck in my memory. But if you look, it's also, again, painted with acrylic paint. There's no, there's no detail to it. There's no shading. It's just a flat pattern. But their skin and their expressions and their, just their demeanors and how they're carrying themselves, that was beauty to me, and it stuck with me. And, you know, I find that my life is just full of all these tiny memories. What if our lives were just full of three big giant memories? I got married, I had a baby, and, um, well, that's about it. Um, it's actually full, chocked full of these sticky, sticky noodles. 
and this is one of my best friends, Alba, in the blue, and you know, I've seen such beautiful things with her. I've seen architecture and buildings and beaches and oceans, and I haven't painted them once. But you know what I have painted a lot? Her looking at me. It's like, really? Because those are the things that stick for me, is human interaction. When people are being themselves, when they're being candid and they let someone see them. When someone really looks at you. And it turns out that our lives are just full of all these tiny little moments and they make our lives joyful. They make our lives beautiful and they are worth remembering even if it's just your mom having late night jammy chats. You know, I, I do think that there's a power and there is a chain reaction that happens when we decide to keep memories alive. Because you take something that happened in the past, you drag it into your present, you have a conversation, a moment with someone where you're sharing it, even if it's just with yourself re reliving it, it changes how you feel. And then you proceed into your future differently. I was recently asked to paint the late Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And it was such a huge honor um, because obviously of all of the things that she's accomplished for our country, our world, and it was really powerful painting her, not only just because I was impacted that, you know, she had passed just right, I mean, this was only a few weeks after, and I was, kind of keeping her memory alive, not just me, I'm not the only person who's painted or captured her, but the fact that her memory was continuing. And then what really surprised me was all the little, all the people that would walk by and they would have these conversations with me, telling me how she impacted them, telling me it looks like she's looking back at them, helping, wanting them to keep this conversation going, keep pushing the ball forward. And so I ended up naming this piece a work in progress because although this painting is finished, the work and the conversation is not. And that's what happens when we use our power to keep memories alive. We keep the conversation going and we potentially change our futures. This is just um, another series of mine called The Ladies of Lake Worth. And I brought it up because it evokes so much nostalgia um, and these are just memories that a friend of mine found in a box um, in a thrift store. And then I thought that this everyday memory that they were making together brought so much joy and playfulness that I wanted to bring it back to life. Nostalgia is beauty mixed, I'm sorry, nostalgia is memory mixed with feeling. It's usually you think of a memory and the feeling comes back. Or it's like a, you're longing for that feeling again. Maya Angelou has this quote, a lot of you probably heard it, that says, people will forget what you said. People will even forget the way, or what you did. But people will never forget the way you made them feel. And it's so true. Even those tiny little memories I was talking about, they have a feeling attached to them, something that moved me, something that stuck. And honestly, that was gonna be the end of my talk. But my Angela comes along and she flips it all on its head for me. And I realize, here I am talking about what's beauty to me oh, and what's you know, what sticks in my memory and who has impacted me and, you know, what sticks for me. And the truth is that on the flip side, I am and we are the ones that are inhabiting everyone else's memories. We are the ones that are sticking in people's minds that they look back on fondly or not and it's not because of some traditional sense of beauty. It's because, probably, because of the way we made them feel. And so, 
I'm filled with this sense of like beautiful power, but also what a responsibility that we have the power, responsibility, and opportunity to make beautiful memories for everyone we encounter. We have the power to make beautiful memories for everyone we encounter through the big giant things that happen to us, but also through the little tiny everyday sticky, sticky noodles. So with that, I would like to end by saying that every moment presents a chance, a chance for us to be aware and encounter beauty, but also a chance for us to be aware and impart beauty. And may we be the ones that stuck. And just since I have a moment, I would like to say that I want to say thank you to all of the sticky, sticky noodles in my life. Thank you. <laughs>